Now we've, now we've gone to where we've got to. Now I'll tell you why Catholicism is the one true religion. Thank you. Because Catholicism is the only religion which is historically based. No other religion is. Now, Catholicism, the key teachings of Catholicism, the papacy, that we receive Jesus Christ under the forms of bread and wine in Holy Mass, that there's a priesthood, there's confession, that marriage is between one man and one woman in perpetuity, that Christ is God, that Christ died on the cross, that Christ rose from the dead. These key doctrines of Catholicism, all of these are found in the early centuries, are testified to not just in the New Testament, but by the early Christian writers after that period and continually thereafter. The Catholic Church as an institution is the oldest institution on earth. The papacy is datable back to the time of Christ. Okay. For all these reasons, I affirm that, that Catholicism is true. When we add to that great public miracles, no, it's not an institution, it's a set of incohate religious ideas. Judaism is not a religious institution. It is a, it is a, it is a, a rabbinic Judaism, it's one phase which comes after the destruction of the temple. It is not the same as the Judaism of Christ's time. There's seven, seven things that you've just mentioned, okay? Three of them were doctrines, four of them were, not, I would say they're non-doctrines, okay? Can you just give me one, because I want to tackle one, I don't think we have enough time to all right. sort of kind of tackle all the doctrines. What is the main key foundation of the Catholic faith? The key foundation that all of the other doctrines build upon. What is the main foundation? Okay. That's all I'm asking. Let's say what makes us distinct from others which will cause Protestants to argue with, the papacy. Take that. Okay, so the papacy. So that's where most of your beliefs come from. No, no, no. Now that is a, a distinctive, uniquely Catholic belief, which the Protestants I, I'm deny. Not for that. I'm not looking so for that's, that, that okay. makes us Catholics but, but, as opposed but, but, to Protestants. But, but, but that Say. doesn't prove whether the Catholic faith is true or false. I want something, you, I want you to give me something that is based on um, solid foundations, which basically proves to everyone that the Catholic faith is true. And this is the main doctrine. Okay. I'll, give you, I'll give you an example. In the Jewish faith, they believe in one God. Their whole, the, the whole religion is based upon this one God. So when we talk about the 613 laws, they are based on Jews practicing those faiths because God is going to be pleased with them Who's this God? That one true God. So, and Muslims, I could say the same thing. They have an aqidah, which is the, the main pillar of their creed, of their religion, is that there is only one God and that he sent many messengers. Now, what is it in terms of the Catholics themselves? What is the foundation of your faith? And I don't want okay. you to bring me secondary things. I want you to give me the most primary thing, foundation. Okay, if, if you were... Let's say we'll take one thing, but again, it would be in common with the Protestants, so this doesn't distinguish us from the Protestants. But if you're not bothered about that, that's fine. Take the teaching that we both hold that Christ is God. Thank you. Now, can you show me where in the Bible, in your 72 or 73 books, or in the 66 books of the Protestants, that Jesus said, I am God? Can you give that to me? Do you need the exact phrase, I am God? I need that exact phrase. You won't get it. Now. We can't get that, so something close. Yeah, a something that say, says it effectively. So, no, a man saying that this is what Jesus told me. Can you find that in the Bible? This is what Jesus told me, that he was God. No. Can you find that? Okay, so we can't find Jesus saying it. We can't find someone saying that Jesus said it. Okay, can you find for me someone saying Jesus was God? Okay, yeah. That's the third hurdle. Okay, third Here's hurdle. what you have. Okay. You have in the book of Revelation, Jesus describing himself as the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, which is the titles of God, right? You have, uh, as you will, will know, no doubt, St. John's Gospel, first chapter, says uh, the word was with God, the word was God. And you've got, um, let's see, let me just can, get can this now. Because obviously the book of Revelation, oh. and, the, and you just mentioned John, can we stick with John then? Because what, most of what... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, okay. What is the earliest manuscript that we have of John? Well, we have, a, we have fragments at the earliest. Okay, which what, what, dated at what year? We don't have the original manuscript of John, that's the main point. Okay, so yeah. we have the, okay, so we have Maybe P45? P45. 
about the year 150. It's, it's, a credit card. it's a fragment. Yeah, it's a fragment. fragment. I'm talking about whole manuscript. Where do we have a whole manuscript of John? You'll probably find, you'll find in the Vaticanus and Sinaiticus, these are 4th century documents. No, no, but, but the very first, you might find Chester Beatty Papyri, but I'm not sure. I'm it's not the, sure. It's the earliest is the Codex Sinaiticus. The, Venatica, the, the, the one in the Vatican was, be, was copied from Greek to Latin. I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about the Greek one, the Codex Sinaiticus. It's in the British Library. It's in the British Library. Right? Okay, okay. Well, they're copies, though, nonetheless. They're copies, and they're 4th century. They're century. Yes, we, 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 we agree with this. 4th century. And it's copies. When we talk about the Codex Sinaiticus and you open up John's uh, uh, Gospel, does it say that the author is John? That's the first question I'm going to ask you. Like here, no, the, no, none, of the, none of the Gospels have the authors in the titles. So we don't know who said that Jesus was God? No, we do. You're the Catholic Church has always said these are Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Okay, can you give me the earliest uh, 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 person, I don't care who he is, who said that the person who wrote John I think you'll find. John. I think you'll find in Eusebius quoting Papias. Okay, and Eusebius, what year was he alive? Eusebius is writing at the time of the Emperor Constantine in the 4th century. So, so 325, around that time? No, around that time. Yeah. Now, when we talk about Eusebius, where was he originally from? Pamphylia. But I don't know where that is, Asia Minor somewhere, I think, Asia, I'm not sure. Around Turkey. Okay. Now, what was his main argument? What was his main... in 325? What were the people arguing when he was alive? Because you just clearly said that Constantine was with him at the time. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Just, just wind back a minute. Eusebius quotes yes. earlier writers, but that doesn't mean that there are not other writers after the earliest ones that Eusebius quotes. Who say the Gospels are by Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. In the second century, it is, t it is clear from writings from the second century, these are ascribed to Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. This is the name. I need oh, the name. listen, you, you would need me to get those writings of the fathers and bring them to you. I haven't got them. Okay, so what you're saying to me is Jesus being God, or you, you just made a claim, you said Jesus is God. This is what you said, right? Yeah. That statement is, you're, say, you're saying it's not from Jesus. No, I never said it's not from Jesus. No, no, you said Jesus didn't say, you won't find it. Where Jesus no, I never has clearly said in the Bible, I am God. I never said that either. I said, no, you said clearly. No. He never said the phrase, the phrase is not in the Bible, I am God. That's what I said. Okay. But, but, Just to but, but to say he didn't clearly say I am God yeah. is actually another, is another way of saying um, it's really a matter of if the Bible says clearly, and Jesus, when, for example, when at the end of John's Gospel, St. Thomas says, the Lord of me and the God of me, and Jesus blesses Thomas. That is Jesus saying, yes, I am God. But he's not saying the phrase, I am God. But would you agree And that elsewhere, look at that differently, that same verse, and see it from a, from a different angle? The, the angle you're looking at, it, it's, not, it's, it's not something which is very uh, specific, something which is solid, that where Jesus says, clearly, I am God. Let it be said to me then by anyone, how else one can see it? If, if somebody says to you, the Lord of me and the God of me, and what do you then say? You'd say, no, I'm not God. Don't worship me. So can you repeat that? I'll do okay. So if I say to you, my Lord and my God, yeah. you either say to me, don't call me God, I'm just a man. If you bless me effectively, then you're affirming what I've said. What alternative but interpretation Jacob is there? Jacob in the Bible. It doesn't make him to God. Okay. Jacob That's just a, no, blessing is not the issue. But no, the but blessing takes place. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The blessing is after St. Thomas calls Jesus God. Okay. That's what initiates the what blessing. 